I really like the idea of the portraits and the, taking people that had uh, uh, influenced you or that you, you know, had long lasting memories of and stuff that you'd met. And then I kind of thought, well, if I was doing that now, what, who, out of, you know, obviously I'm not nearly as old as, as Dad, <laughs> but um, people had made, had made an impression and kind of what lasted and what was it about them that I was, you know, intrigued by. Whatever. And so I had this list of. Um, several people. I thought, what is it about all those that sort of draws them together? So I started making these perfumes and I ended up with three perfumes that sort of represented each of these people. Um, and then I kind of thought, actually, what the, what the common thing, the thread that goes through it is that kind of the freedom, the smell of freedom. So when you make it across the Himalayas or when you, you know what I mean, when you're released from Grand Tanima or whatever, what is it that, you know, it's that smell of freedom. So I used each, each of those um, to make a final fragrance. Actually, so you actually made three fragrances? I actually, and when I looked at the percentages, they are about a third each. I haven't added anything else extra in, so they're just the three fragrances and they make up the, the final smell of freedom.